It's, it's getting so far away. It's... <laughs> oh, I heard it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coming. It's coming back. It's coming everywhere. <laughs> no, send it away. Send it away. Send We're it done. Away. Send it away. We're done. We're here. We're on. Um, hi, One Kristen. Hi, Jonathan. Um, oh, hey. I thought I would just call a, a team meeting. Okay. Uh, and n- nobody else uh, is coming. It's just going to be us. <laughs> nobody? It's cool. It's, it's just the three of us. Yeah, it's the three of us. So um, we are hostile. Just the three of us. And uh, yeah, we're going gonna, gonna to do some improv in our usual style, which is um, without style. <laughs> So I guess uh, from from the uh, from the Zoom here, can we get a suggestion of uh, what is the first place you're gonna go after you get fully vaccinated? The dentist. You are a glutton for punishment. You going <laughs> first to the dentist? I guess you're getting the bad stuff out of the way. All right, dentist. Thank you. The caramel is just about right for the coating of the apple. Just about right. I th- we're missing, I'm not sure if it's sugar. I'm not sure if it's the apples. But we're missing something. It's just almost about right. I haven't wanted to say anything about this because you seem to have been having a really good time. You know, you, you've, 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 you've attempted a lot of hobbies over this past year. And this seems to be the one that's like fully stuck, you know, and it seems to like make you really happy, but the thing that's missing is your teeth, babe, like your, your teeth huh. you lost four teeth. Mm-hmm. From these caramel well, apples and <laughs> it's it's all about science it's all about just figuring out exactly you know the right structure for the apple slash caramel and i happen to lost four little uh toothy tooths and no, that's fine well they weren't little those were permanent like yeah permanent they were adult teeth. teeth yeah they were adult teeth yeah. And honey, I love you no matter what, obviously. Thank you. I, it doesn't matter to me if you are toothless, except that, you know. I still have like 28 teeth left. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I just, you are eventually going to go back out into the world and back to your, you know, job where you're going to have to talk to people and see people oh, and, yeah. and, you know, we're going to see your family. And I just think that like, you know, oral hygiene is so important. I, I'm sorry. I'm, it's... So I just I just got bummed out about having to go visit family again. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I can... <laughs> Tag out, Kristen. Ah, I... uh, there's my boy. Oh, <laughs> it's so good to see you. God, I have missed this. Oh. Oh, Uncle what's wrong? Marty. You got a little sinus Uncle pressure? Uncle Marty, I have definitely missed things. <laughs> Listen, it's... hey, uh, buddy, I hate to I hate to do this. I, we've only seen each other socially distanced and with masks on. Mm-hmm. So it's it's so good to see. I, I don't. <sighs> what happened to your teeth? Oh, Jonathan, that's. Uncle Marty, let me tell you. Is that a happened. thing? Are you are you having? Did you did you get in a so, fight? Did you have so, an accident? So, okay, so uh, I I'm very excited to talk to you all um, <laughs> about these caramel apples, uh, and I can tell you, you don't have to worry about your teeth because I did all the work for you. Now that doesn't mean that I've eaten the apples. No, no, no. I've tested it so that the caramel and apple ratio is the perfect density. I, I, I gotta stop you right there. Jonathan, I know you're a very diligent person and you you always put in the work. However, you are offering me- five and a half teeth. Yeah, okay, that's the thing. You are here offering me candied apples as someone who the last time I saw you had all of his teeth and now mm-hmm. you've lost five and a, and a half. You broke one Five off. and a half, yeah. Well, I mean, no, I chipped one off. So that's still, oh. it's still there. But that's when I knew I almost had the recipe correct. 
you lose your first four, you're like, mm, you lose your fifth. You're like, uh, maybe I should give up. But they don't call me Hobby Johnny for no apparent reason. It's because I keep persevering. Yeah. And All I right. can tell you that la- two weeks ago, two weeks ago, chipped one. What? I still have partial tooth. I'm almost there. So today I bring you five and a half teeth right. worth of ingenuity, well, perseverance, and collaboration. You know, as as your uncle Marty, I I support you in everything that you do. So just gonna go ahead and because I don't want to be one of those uncles that's just you know that's just Listen. riding in and out of your life when it's convenient. <laughs> No, nope, you know, that's what my that that's what my dad was for. Tag out Jonathan. Uncle Marty. Oh wow. Oh, you're eating it. Okay. Yeah. No, you don't have to. You don't have to for me. They're fine. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Marty, I'm just I need to talk about Jonathan. I know you saw him recently and you know about the teeth, but mm-hmm. it's like escalating. Like he has totally oh, no. like he 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 is not he has no sense of self-preservation anymore for these caramel apples he he no, I'm trying to get that. <laughs> right yeah he he lost like a finger the other day because the apples were so hard what? and he bumped his finger up against it and the finger just fell off it just it fell off and he's like well whatever i have nine more fingers and i'm just like honey this is crazy like you know the teeth was one thing those are kind of easy to replace but but appendages i Kristen, I have I have two questions. One that is very concerning behavior, and he needs help. But first, I need to know what did he do with the finger? Did you recover the finger? Okay, okay. Look, uh, Kristen, I don't I don't know what to tell you. We can we can probably get him get him to to see a professional. Uh, we we've all been going a little stir crazy under quarantine. I. I started getting old back issues of National Geographic thinking I would complete my collection. That that magazine has been around for like a hundred years. Oh, wow. Yeah, my my apartment is terrifying and I'm afraid that I'm gonna die and end up on one of those hoarder shows. But but that's okay. Maybe he and I could, could do something together, you know? Like sand art. Oh, I was thinking like, like a group, you know, like a oh. group, kind of a group therapy. Oh, sand oh. art. Sand saw, art sounds easier, actually. I, I saw an Instagram with sand art the other day, and I just oh, thought, yeah. "Wow, that looks really peaceful." That's nice. Yeah. Do I mean? Would you like to join us? We could. Any, any, honestly, anything to save Jonathan at this point. I mean, I can't describe to you how alarming it is to see someone who has just given up everything. For, for what? For these caramel apples that aren't even that good. Like who wants a caramel apple except like one time a year, you know, with a hayride. That's, that's the thing. Like I will agree that this is, if I had to write down a checklist of what a caramel apple should be, this yeah. checks all the boxes, but it's ultimately still a caramel apple. And just, there's only so far that can go. Exactly. All right. Um, I'm just going to leave that there, but um, right. hey, let's, let's do sand art this weekend. Okay. 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 That's wow. really nice. Hi, I hi, can't hi. believe you two. I have been standing outside this door hearing everything you said. And I can tell you one thing. I can replace my finger. I sure as heck can replace my teeth. But you, you know can't. what I can't replace? You, actually... you know what I can't replace? What is it? My broken heart. Honey, honey. Oh, please. he's gone. Okay. Well, look, he he never could turn down a good deal. So I'm going to find us a group on. Okay. I'm going to group on. There's something I didn't tell you. What is it? I can't find muffins. Like our cat muffins. I can't. Oh, God. I, think, I think something happened with the caramel apples and muffins and he's not telling me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I, I think, I think. I don't. Well, Listen, Kristen, okay. I don't want to be that uncle that just rides in and out of Jonathan's life. But I feel like this is a lot. This is maybe a little more than an uncle is capable of dealing with right now. 
Sorry, I did not. I didn't know who else to turn. No, no, to. it's not. It's not your fault. And this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I, I didn't realize I had a limit, but I think I'm up against it. Okay. I am gonna go, and I will see you both at Sand Art. <laughs> I saw an open slot on Sunday, and I'm gonna book it okay. and send it to him. See. Okay. See. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hot one. Oh boy. <laughs> sure is. I, uh, I'm wearing my jorts because it's so hot. That's for sure. <laughs> hot one out there. I'm wearing my tube top. Whoa. Because <laughs> it's a hot right. one out there. It's a hot one out there. <laughs> Ooh, I am. <laughs> Wearing my bathing cap because I know I'm going to get into that pool at any point in time because it's a hot one out Ooh, there. Get that hair wet during this hot mm, one. Don't want to get that chlorine touching these follicles. I'm wearing my flippers. Oh. Yep. So I'm like, ready to dive on in. Mm. Dive on into the to the beach later. Because it's a hot one. <laughs> it's a hot, hot one. Yeah. yeah. I, I got I brought the crackers. Yeah. All right. I... <laughs> you folks waiting to get into the Baltimore City pool? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Ready. All right. Well, as you know, regulations have tightened up. So let me get a look at you. It is a hot one out here. That's what you did. I see you got your flippers going. Very good. Oh, a swimmy cap. That's thinking. All right, but I don't see none of you wearing uh, aviators like out of that Tom Cruise movie. Oh, uh, Tell me you've got some kind of glasses that are a reference to pop culture or uh, just comically sized or maybe from a different decade. It's a hot one out here. Oh, uh, I... Uh, I, I have some just wayfarers. Okay, did you did you at least get those in like a 20 pack so that if you lose one, you've got as many as you need? Don't tell me that's your only pair of wayfarers. No, I got them at Sunglasses Hut. They were like $100. Oof. What, what about you, bud? I, I, I got this eye patch because it's a hot one out there. And you, okay. if you're gonna, you're gonna look like yeah. a, a pirate yep. from the Caribbean. All right, you gotta be ready. Yeah, come on in, come on Thank in, bud. Wait, just remember those shorts when they get wet, they're gonna chase. Oh, it's okay. I'm ready for it. I, I got my tube top and um, yeah. I, I have shorts and I have look, the I'm towel in my bag and. I, I hate to see this. I don't want to send you away. So I'm I'll so make you a deal. All right. I've got a Casio G-Shock watch, one of the big chunky watches that's rated for up to 30 meters. Would you be willing to wear that in the pool? Yeah, absolutely. Whatever gets me to that pool on you know, this okay. hot one, you know? All right. Look, now you can't go telling everybody you got this for me, but okay. uh, you know, I just want to make sure. It's a hot one out here. Yeah. I yeah. want to make sure everybody's prepared. Oh, I'm going to have a sweet tan line. Ooh. All, right, All right, get on in here. Welcome to the yeah. Baltimore City Pool. <sighs> oh, wow. Oh, a lot of, lot of people here for this. this it's a, a lot hot of one today. A lot yeah. of people here. It is a hot. I don't feel any cooler. No. Nope. There's so many people, you know. It's too many people. Many people. All <laughs> Maybe right. we should just dive on in, right? All right, let's just go in. Let's yeah. just go in. Take your jorts off. Uh, I got I to gotta wear the jorts because... Well, I didn't bring like, trunks. I didn't bring swim trunks. You're, you're just wearing jorts? You didn't bring the trunks to wear under them? I, I, Why would you swim in jorts? I They're not very it, hydrodynamic, you know? I, I thought I would be good. I didn't think about packing them. I'm prepared for everything. I got, like, if I look in my... I had the eye patch wearing it. Uh, I got crackers for snacks. I got some juicy juices. 
perfect. Uh, but I did not. I didn't even bring a towel. No, hey, folks. Uh, hope you're having a good time here. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. It's just uh, yeah. I keep getting reports that you're just kind of milling around and not not enjoying the Baltimore City Pool. <gasps> Listen, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Listen, sir, I'm sorry. We, we thought we were prepared. You know, we had all of like, you know. I thought it, so too. You went through my rigorous screening I, process. I know, but he, he's not actually wearing swim trunks and we don't have any towels. And and all I have is flippers. I don't have flip-flops. And I'm sorry, I, sir. Sir, you you don't have like a, like a David Hasselhoff from Baywatch Red Speedo underneath those shorts? Oh, no, 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 no. No, uh, I am wearing a Cisco thong from the song, but that's about it. And that's just for comfort. All right. Um, well, I'm going to tell you this maybe little known secret. It's okay to swim in shorts. They're not very hydrodynamic. Come You'll on, be man. at a disadvantage if you try to take on like another couple in chicken or if you want to do some kind of a race. But if you're going for splashes, they do send out a lot of extra water. So you just be aware, okay. use okay. that information responsibly. And remember, they will chafe. As soon as they get wet, they will start to chafe. Got it. Okay, now you're making other folks uncomfortable. So I'd like to see okay. you enjoying that pool, please. Okay. All right. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Enjoy your day at the Baltimore City Thank Pool. You. Okay. All right. Um, you know, I, listen, I'm, I'm not starting, I'm not trying to start much shit. But who the fuck is he? Whoa. You know what I mean? Who the fuck is he to tell us we're not prepared? Like, he's got a badge. I know, but it's like maybe I'm starting to think that maybe pool time could be whatever you want it to be. You know, like I'm sorry I was hard on you about the jorts swimming your jorts. I'm just, I'm just saying he has a badge. He looks super official. He looks and super official, but is he? Super official. Is I mean, he, I'm not. Are we? Are we official enough to judge other people on their officiality? Yeah. I think we are. We are patrons. Okay, of shit. The All right. Cool. Okay. We're here to stir the pot today, Jonathan. Okay. All, All right. right. It's a hot one out here. So let's it's get let's, let's okay. get spicy. Uh, sorry, folks. I just noticed it's getting it's getting real hot, and it's already a hot one out here. Is there is there something else that I can help you all with? We challenge your community pool authority, sir. Damn right. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Okay. He can wear his shorts. I'm not wearing this watch. You're lucky that watch is rated to 30 meters underwater because that was very irresponsible to throw electronics into the swimming pool. Well. You know, and you know how I know that? How? Because I'm official. You see this? You see this lanyard with a silvered whistle at the end? What does that whistle say? Baltimore City Pools. That's right. And do you see this, this white nonsense that I pasted onto my face? They only give that to lifeguards. That's right, I came prepared. Do you see, do you see these glasses? These are the same glasses that David Caruso wears when he does his little bit in CSI Miami. Oh, he does that bit real good. You got Caruso glasses, fuck. That's right, television reference right there. Now, I take it seriously to come to the pool prepared and that's all I'm asking for you two to do. You're right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Please give us another, another okay. shot. It's okay, I'll tell you what. You better get that watch from the bottom of the pool. Ah! <laughs> See. See. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of sprinkling blue sand and I, uh, I don't, <laughs> I just kind of like the color. I think it's kind of like that. Red. No. Okay, so you're just, yeah, that's good. Green. No. I think this is nice. Honey, are you having a nice time? I, I mean, it's nice to know that I won't find mystery sand in places when we're doing this, but like, it's just, I don't know. Where's the, where's the like energy for it? 
Well, honey, it's about like, you know, relaxing. It's, it's about not, you know, we're, we're trying to take you away from the, the high intensity world of caramel apples. And we're trying to, you know, show you a softer side to light. Yeah. Well, the softer look. side could have been like, I don't know, like maybe we're dipping apples into marshmallow. That's a softer side. No, honey, there's no apples here. And There's no apples here right now. Jonathan, to dip into marshmallow, you would you would need to heat that marshmallow mixture to a very high okay. temperature. So hot. Okay. Can we could, could we do could we just do like one bowl together? Sure. Could we just could just we do, just do just, like get a bowl? Like one like, nice yeah. sand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here, let's do this. Uh Marty, could you put red into the center of the pot, the bowl. Okay, yeah, Just we'll start. Red sand. Start with yep. a nice, a nice base yeah. of red. Yep. All right. Okay. Now, uh, Kristen, could you do me a favor and put that light brown sand over the red sand? Beautiful. Okay. Okay. So that's a good, so nice, even coating. Kind of like a, a lava core and a yeah, kind of a La dirt surface. Yeah, over the I, top. I think that that has a good core. For sure. Uh, and then I'm gonna take this pencil. I'm just gonna jab it in there. Oh, okay. Now this. I get it, I, I get it. This is a beautiful piece of artwork. You, not everything can be caramel apples. I told you no caramel oh. apples today. Kristen, do you see a caramel apple in there? Because I didn't, but, you know. but man, does that look tasty. Don't eat it. Don't try. I to won't. No, I promise I won't eat it. Thank you. Oh but, my God. I don't even know what that would do to the sockets. Uh, I am very excited to tell you that uh, I called ahead of time um, and we're allowed to do snack time while we're doing this. Jonathan, no. Jonathan. <sighs> Jonathan, this was supposed to be a nice way for us all to relax and decompress after your recent, frankly, don't don't unwrap. That better not be carrots. Okay, okay, carrots. Okay, I like carrots and caramel apples. There no, Jonathan, no. Why, Jonathan? Why? This is this is too much. Okay, I'm just your uncle. I don't. I wasn't here your I whole just... life to see all the twists and turns that it took to get you here, and I am not equipped to pull you back from this edge. Jonathan, I'm your wife, okay? I want to bear your children, but I can't, not like this, not like this. What are you gonna do, try to feed caramel apples to our to our baby? I'm pregnant, okay? Kristen, it is irresponsible Congratulations. for any parent to feed a caramel apple to a baby. Now, I do have to say, one, very excited about our child. Two, I'm already thinking about blending this and seeing what a juice would come out of it. Oh, okay. And then that's what we will feed our children. Kristen, if you need a place to crash, you can, you know, you're always welcome. Jonathan, yeah, you need help. <sighs> ah! <laughs> I knew it. Honey, stop. You have so few to love, why? It's just six. I, that was the other half. Do you see how this doesn't fit with your whole story about this being science and you're getting better? It seems like you've really plateaued. Still only a, a half, so I'm almost there. So where? Where is there? Where are you trying to get to? The perfect caramel coating of a caramel apple. And that happens when you've lost all your- I guess ev every tooth. <laughs> That's not <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, we've been hostile. Yeah. We're hostile. Yeah, we're it. hostile. 